America's Mayor Rudy Giuliani, welcome back, sir. I want to talk to, to you about uh, Hunter Biden. Uh, we know that Joe Biden checks in with Hunter every night, either on the phone or he texts him. Now, you've said that Hunter Biden is essentially a criminal. Not essentially, he is. <laughs> well, you want a nice, easy, clear one? Yeah. How about filling out the form for, what, with the 38, saying he never took drugs, and I got pictures of him taking drugs five days before? Yeah. And that's a 10-year fe federal felony, which we treat very seriously. In fact, liberals want you to treat that seriously, right? You want to keep guns away from drug addicts, mentally ill, and criminals, right? Well, they didn't do it with Hunter. Hunter violated the law. The form is there, and the FBI is going like this. Now, very few people in the world uh, have gone through the hard drive. You have. I have. I think yeah. you have it. Yeah, yeah. It's you a, even it's have a, one. It's a crime family. Now, <laughs> tell us, I, and I can't believe this is why they, This is why they go after me, because I'm <laughs> going to tell you the truth. That it's the Biden crime family. 30 years of shaking people down and selling his office. They accumulated millions. It's disgusting. But worse than that, though, is everybody knows it and they get away with it. 3.5 million from Russia? Mm. You think that might have affected his decision on the pipeline? I don't know. You, you, if I have the hard drive, one, right? What do you think Russia has on? Now, since the election, by the way, uh, remember they tried to tell us that that was Russian disinformation? That was all Russian disinformation. Projection, Greg. They, they were, I, I didn't realize it until I went through the hard drive. Everything they charged Trump with, they did. The, the corruption with Russia? Who got money from Russia? Not Trump. Hillary so, got all that money for, for letting them have uh, really what's atomic fuel. You don't sell atomic fuel to Russia. So and this guy, we've heard 3.5 million from look, the mayor of Moscow's. You've life. made you've made the case. Uh, the Justice Department <laughs> refuses to listen, or they're going to do it their way, which seems to be in a way that will not harm Hunter. They're, he's under some sort of tax investigation, but it doesn't seem like oh, this is going anywhere. Why right? are we surprised? They fixed the Hillary case. I mean, that was a total fix, a corrupt deal. So how did the DOJ change? You were the number two man there at one point. It happened, it ha I, I believe it happened somewhere in the Obama-Holder. I mean, Holder was a, a very, very uh, po political AG. There was a lot of, of uh, prejudicial cases and unfair cases against conservatives, oh. but nobody wanted to hear it. That was the now, shift. Now it's clear. I mean, they, the, only, the only lawyers whose offices get searched are Donald Trump's lawyers. And you are the fourth lawyer, I believe. Your office, your home yeah, I, has I'm been searched. I'm trying to find another lawyer who has been searched. <laughs> I never did it. In fact, one time I had a chance to search a lawyer's office who represented the mafia. And I might have gotten a commission meeting out of it. And I thought, no, no. Uh, the, the attorney a commission time, meeting? What do you mean by that? Uh, the mafia commission. Oh, you A would. lawyer was maybe hosting it. We're not, right. We weren't sure. The FBI wanted to get in. And I made the decision, no, 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 we can't do that because we could jeopardize the whole case that way. So you have been targeted. Uh, they raided your house. They're doing things to me that I would never do. Are you, Cause Cause they're they're Are you in trouble right now? Do you feel like you're in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. I mean, the only thing I have to face is a bunch of prosecutors that don't seem to be bound by the law. Well, that sounds like it could be. <laughs> I would not. That would be that would be upsetting to me. You've been through. I guess I'm a fighter. Yeah. And I ultimately believe that if you didn't do anything wrong, they can't frame you. I mean, that's why I represented Donald Trump. I represented Donald Trump because he was an innocent man being accused of things he didn't do. And I find that abhorrent. And I find that that's the highest role for a lawyer to, to do. The hardest thing to do is to represent an innocent man. I first met Great you, pressure. I first met you in 1986, and uh, I know in my gut that you did absolutely nothing wrong. I do. I just, uh, and the New Yorkers know that.